giving to the Lord our whole heart, let us now profess our beliefs. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in our merciful God, let us raise our voices to him with the needs of our world. For the church, may God guide us as the body of Christ, using our gifts and talents to spread the good news, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government officials, may God strengthen them in the ways of respect, trust, and right judgment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer the burden of poverty, may the Lord meet their needs and provide them with hope and encouragement, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, May the Lord help us grow in understanding of his merciful love for us and so be transformed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the poor souls in purgatory, especially those who have no one else to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parishioners of Emmanuel, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For respect for all human life from conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts and those written in our book of St. Monica. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise, Father, for hearing our prayers. We ask that you respond to our needs through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is in the green hymnal, number 508, Lord, whose love in humble service. in the midst of tribulation. You shall preserve my life, O Lord. You shall stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand has delivered me.
My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the cause of his church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for we know that it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, 
give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, for the kingdom and power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is in the Missalette, number 212, O Lord, I am not worthy.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacred sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. After Mass today, we will celebrate uh, coffee and donuts over in the school gathering hall. Everyone is welcome to share in a little coffee, donuts, and news. Tonight at 7 o'clock at the Levitt Pavilion in downtown Dayton off of Main Street, there's a free concert featuring Blessing Ofor. He's a Christian artist 
who shares a message of hope, encouragement, and worship. This concert is being sponsored by Chaminade Julian High School, the Matil Foundation, Missionaries of the Precious Blood, Sisters of the Precious Blood, and four other religious orders. It's a way for our Catholic voice to be celebrated in the downtown Dayton area. It's an outdoor event, so bring a blanket or lawn chair for the concert. Everyone is welcome to attend. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is in the green hymnal, number 494, Holy God, we praise thy name. We will sing the German verse first. <laughs> 